Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and we talk all about cut flower gardens, how to get a garden set up. Uh, if you're starting out and just learning along the way as we start a cut flower business here in central Ohio. So today, as we're continuing in the garden planning series, we're going to be talking all about raised beds. So you can see behind me some of the raised beds that we have already. Um, we're going to be building more of those, but today we wanted to show you just how to build a really quick and easy six by three raised garden bed. So this is made out of cedar and surprisingly it's less than $30 to put this together and took only around 30 minutes. So we're going to show you today how you can do that so that you can build the raised bed gardens of your dreams. Um, so today I have my husband here. He's going to help walk through how we do this. And if you're interested, stick around and we'll get into it. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so let's talk supplies. For these raised beds, you're gonna need six feet of two by two treated lumber, about 40 inch and a half screws, and cedar fence boards. For this, you'll only need six. So these cedar fence boards is really where the magic happens. An eight foot cedar board at Home Depot is $22. It's not crazy, but using cedar fence boards is a huge way to save money. Instead of paying $20, each of these boards is only three or four dollars and they're super easy to find. Cedar is rot resistant, great for raised beds, but these fence boards is really where you can get the bang for your buck for making this happen. So pick up those cedar fence boards and then as you're looking at screws, really easy. You can go ahead and get exterior deck screws, that's what we did here, or use any inch and a half screws you have at home. So in terms of prep, the first thing is we need to pop off those chamfers on all of the boards and cut them down to size. So most just need the top cut off and then a few you need to measure and cut down the middle. So two of those you're cutting down the middle and all of them you wanna take off that top side. So here you can see Daniel's just going ahead and cutting it down the middle. These will form the ends of our beds and that's kind of what determines the size. So fence boards are six feet long. When you cut it in half, you get the three and so then it's three by six. Daniel's going ahead and cutting. We did one by twos here instead of two by twos. And so you can go ahead and cut those to form those different supports. All right, next step is assembly. So make sure you have all of your wood pre-cut and set out and it'll just help us move really quickly. This is not something that takes super long. So to start out, we're gonna take two of those six foot fence boards and we're gonna screw them in to our two by two side panel. So two screws per board is plenty to keep these going. And we just wanna make sure that they are squared up to the edge of the board and squared up next to each other, that there's no gaps or anything like that. Once you do one side, go ahead and flip it around and do the other side with another two by two panel, and then use your other two fence boards and do that again on both sides. So that gives you your length. The next step you might need a little bit of help with is screwing on those side panels just to keep kind of that length stood up straight and square. It's easy to have an extra hand. So then go ahead and do that on the other side. Once you do have them screwed in, it is really sturdy and easy to kind of keep doing as one person. So again, last step is we're just gonna screw on that last side here. So we've been using some of the fence boards just to help keep a solid ground underneath and keep things square, but you don't have to do that. Then once you've gone ahead and put all of those screws in, you have your whole box, but we do wanna put in some side supports. So using your last two two by two kind of sides, we're gonna screw those in just in the middle of the length. So that way it keeps it sturdy, it's gonna keep it from bowing. And that is it. All right, you guys, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so that more people can see just how easy it is to build raised beds and have the garden of your dreams. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along as we work through all of the adventures and challenges of starting a flower farm. So we're super excited to have you and I hope you have a great week. And that is how you build a dirt box. <laughs>